had uh, gone in the rapture and a lot of people were left a lot of people and I was I was left here and um, it was horrible the earth began to shake and people started yelling earthquake earthquake the roads and the earth started to shake and sway violently there was this big huge earthquake I felt a gigantic earthquake shaking like everywhere like things were shaking left to right there's a great shaking coming to the USA there's a great shaking coming and I noticed the whole United States not just one state but the whole United States had shook for at least a minute or two after that and I also remember most of the areas were crippled even the White House was crippled and then I heard on the radio that a 9.3 had struck British Columbia New York City was completely buried it was buried in rubble and cars, piled up cars. He said to, to say it in this manner, uh, California, California, have you sinned against me? California, California, saying you shall be engulfed by the sea. California, California, you hoarded every dime. California, California, you are now out of time. There was no order. People didn't understand what was going on. People are going crazy, people running around. A 9.0 earthquake has just struck in the Atlantic Ocean and you need to leave. The east coast of the United States had just had a major tsunami. This wave was coming in over the east coast of America. I knew it presented a massive calamity of some kind. The destroyer is already at work in New York. The destroyer is already at work in New York. There was a tsunami coming to the city, and there was a great flood to follow after the tsunami. I seen like a big old wave coming. And I seen that wave coming, and people started running. Huge tidal wave coming right at him, coming right at the road, and all the other people that are driving on the road. When, when I tell you, like this tsunami was was huge. It was like going over like the Empire State Building, huge. I guess you can say it's a tsunami, but it was like a flood, as tall as the building. And the flood went as high as the buildings. The highest wave was higher than the buildings. Gigantic waves, like they're, you're not getting away from them. As the waves were coming in, um, they began to like come towards me. I was so close to this. I knew that it was going to kill me. His finger took and touched Florida and Florida was gone no more pretty much most of Florida was underwater and also the whole coast of Georgia was completely underwater close to the horizon is the Sun it's huge and there's a little black planet or orb or moon I don't know what it is just a black circle eclipsing the Sun partially at the lower left side when the moon covered the Sun the moon, it wasn't black. It just turned a blood red. Kind of like a, like a, like a, a blood moon. A huge moon, and it was a blood moon. And on the side of the huge blood moon was a real small blood moon. Then on the other side, it was a real small white moon. And I seen three planets, three three different planets in our sky. This gigantic planet. It was huge. It was like a planet and it was like a dark bluish you had the red moon then the regular full moon a huge blue planet and then a small fiery blackness but had fire coming out of many openings within it like lava underneath black with golden pieces in it this black thing with golden pieces in it and I wrote down, and it was an Nibiru. I've prayed for revelation about what it is. All I get is wormwood. But it looked like a planet, and it was coming down fast. As Nibiru got closer and closer, we could feel the atmosphere change. I will see fire, like fire coming down from heaven. Fire in the sky. Fireballs falling from the sky. Balls of fire. Meteors or fireballs of some sort started coming down. Great ball 
cause of fire fall down. An asteroid is coming. An asteroid is coming. A lot of meteors coming down and people were just running. These stars are coming down and I, I could see them coming down. Everybody was, you know, she's shocked. Meteorites or something, things just falling from the sky. I remember that. It like fell and it just hit the land with such a force. It was like this thing weighed tons, tons, tons. This thing was heavy and it hit with such a heavy weight and I could feel that it was lethal and I could feel death. I was feeling so scared and like hopelessness, like I couldn't feel God's presence at all. There's gonna be three days of darkness. That's what he was saying. There's gonna be three days of darkness and uh, needed to stay inside. That's it. He said, there's gonna be three days of darkness, Mark, and you need to stay inside. Don't go out. Make sure you have enough food and water to last. Three days of darkness. I kept hearing that over and over. There was nothing but darkness. It was just thick darkness. Pitch blackness. It was all darkness. It's a darkness like if the sun, the moon, the stars were gone. It wasn't just dark. It was darkness that was alive. That's the only way I can just describe it. It was evil it is so scary so creepy smog or smoke coming from the sky like black smog thick smoke i wouldn't say a cloud and they they were like they had its own it had its own mind and it was just going around the smoke was going around it was coming with such violence it was just coming with rage demons literally flying all over the place these demonic beings were flying all over the place in the sky searching searching for human beings like they could sense us demons and uh, they walk the earth demons these monsters they look horrible they they were tall like and and um some some half human half animal like some were 10 to 20 feet tall big like um large men and they were coming to attack me and i knew that they were demons in the form of men running away from this demon in my dream it was dark she transformed she transformed into a scaly reptilian look teeth became became sharp her skin went like a reptilian reddish brown um, she looked demonic. There was like people like I guess turning into zombies or whatever. You think they were zombies or something and they were violent and just angry and they were like out for blood. Cops killing cops, cops killing people, people killing cops, screaming, looting, fires. Fights and riots. Everything, every night. Every theory that you hear, whether it's a Bigfoot, whether it's a dog man, you hear about the Nephilim Giants, it's literally going to materialize and manifest right before your eyes. I looked up and I uh, saw a UFO. A flying saucer. It was a one of those UFO. Space ship is just like flat like a disc. There were UFOs, I don't know why, um, but there were UFOs what objects, um, UFOs. What society would call a UFO. But in reality, this is a demonic force. We both knew that it was full of fallen angels or demonic entities pretending to be aliens, okay? A group of what looked like three men, they probably weren't men, they were probably demons or something, you know, they were trying to persuade us that they were aliens or something. They, they looked somewhat normal, they just were bald um, and were weird looking. I don't know how to explain it, maybe gray all pale they would have the human body but you could see that this is not a real human you could see that this was a hybrid and i knew that these were like human and alien hybrid i saw something wrong in the skies the skies become all red all red skies and uh, that's what took my my attention. I started noticing was something wrong, something very very wrong in the skies. And I saw a dragon, very very big dragon. And 
Red dragon. That is the Antichrist. And as I saw him pass us, me and my husband in the dream, I had this fear. And he looks right at me. And it was to the point where he almost, well, if he did, he looked through me. And it terrified me. And you could just see that he was sitting on this throne. And I mean, it was crazy, man. Like he was the king. I noticed um, what looked to be um, a man or a beast, a man that walked as a beast. And the beast had um, snake-like tendrils coming off of its back. In this stream, the water was poison, and it was a horrible time. The water was not drinkable. I keep telling you guys about the polluted waters. They were fighting over this bottle of water. I was in this room with strangers who were also on the run. Now, they were starving. There were some people that were going to come for us, and they were going to take us off to a... Camp. These military people bursted in my house and took everyone away because there was martial law. As they were being taken into this facility like a herd of cattle, I realized that families were being divided. And we were in some sort of camp, some sort of FEMA camp maybe. We were wearing all orange. This was orange, this was orange. It was almost kind of like jail or prison, something like that. I remember seeing the Pope. He was calculating the number of Christians in, around the world. And I believe that the reason why the Pope was calculating these Christians, they was trying to get a number of who they wanted to kill and slaughter. The Pope was just going to and fro, sort of like Satan. And he's screaming out in the bullhorn, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And he kept saying that if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. There have been um, millions of people on the face of this earth that disappeared. And in order for us to be able to track you down, you need to get the mark. They're telling people that they basically have to be marked, marked, so that they can get so that they can try to find everyone and get track of everyone we have refused to get the identification chip because of our refusal we have been labeled as criminals terrorists i didn't have the mark of the beast and they started trying to force it upon me i i was actually given the choice to deny christ um, or, t or take the mark of the beast. And if I did not take the mark, I was gonna be beheaded. There was a guillotine set up, ready to go. They were literally forcing people to take the mark that got left behind. And if you did not take the mark, you would die. Anyone who was a Christian or had the name of Jesus Christ, they just wanted to kill. Suddenly, I heard very, very clearly a sentence, Russia will attack the USA. Russia and China will invade. Horrible war that would impact the United States of America. Missiles popped out of the ocean, out of the sea, and just went in the sky. It was a red and black, I think it was a nuclear warhead. Two missiles go over my head. The nukes were coming. And he looked up, and he saw the planes, and he saw the nukes dropping. And he said that there was this big wind that knocked him to his knees. Flash, right flash of light, and then the... Large missile. <laughs> and it landed in an electrical grid. There will be an EMP attack. I saw people on the ground hurt. Every place was being destroyed. I'll never forget it. Even the oxygen seemed to be taken out of the air. Jets like flying fast. And I know it was, I could tell it was military jets. Hundreds of and thousands of military aircrafts covering the entire sky. So many 
of these planes, these fighter jets, as well as these big Boeing planes that, I mean, the sky had literally darkened. Military people in helicopters shooting people in the streets. Buildings were falling. Bombs were going off. Flying around with different, you know, the, the representing different country, yet they were together coming in. I saw in the water coming Russian troops. Foreign troops, from what I believe. The troops were from China and from Russia. Patchwork on his shoulders, it showed the star, um, the star, and it showed the, the hammer and the sickle. And I asked the Lord where, who the army was, and what was going to happen, and the Lord told me it was the northern tribes. Oh my Lord, that's Russia. I saw military trucks. It's military open, I don't really know what it's called. It's like a huge truck that's open in the back where a bunch of guys can pile in um, but this was exaggerated like it was huge a uh, big like you know the army tanks like army tanks they're coming listen listen and then he 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 told me again look outside the window so I looked outside the window and then I heard these military marching and they were all in unison two 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 it was formation after formation after formation. I looked up at this flagpole and I, I saw a flag there. And there wasn't much of a flag. It was just part of a flag. But when I looked at it, I immediately knew that it was an American flag. But it was, it was very shredded. It was very uh, just tattered. Uh, and, you know, where the, with the American flag where the 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 blue with the stars there wasn't much left of that everyone rejected the united states and just watched it fall it turned into a third world country america will be brought to her knees the guy with the gun was staring at me um with this smirk on his face you know as if to say you know there's nothing you can do about it now